13 records that you probably don't have in your collection, but you may, instead of 10, 12, 20, 25, this is 13, lucky 13. First of all, some of these are Canadian groups too, so borderline. The Poppers, Magic People, what a great album. This guy right here, that turtleneck, I wanted one of those when this record came out. And uh, I finally did get one, but I never got into a rock and roll band. Damn. This is Sonic Youth Dirty, and this is Australian. Australian produced, came from, well, not produced, but came. The record is manufactured in Australia. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. It's got a records in there I believe. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Ugly Ducklings, this is an original. They had a stack at the House of Sounds in Kingston, Ontario and they were sitting on their thing. I remember they were stacked up and I had to go three times <laughs> to get this record because it skipped and then finally I got one and this is on the Yorktown label of Toronto. Then this is Stone, oh, I don't know how to say his name, Stomu Yamashita, and this is with, uh, it's got Stevie Winwood on it, and Michael Shreve from the early Santana band, and uh, I guess it's kind of progressive kind of stuff. String Driven Thing, love this album, The Machine That Cried, this is a Scottish group, and uh, I never see this album around, but I love this album, and I got it ordered on CD, finally. And here's their first album, by The String Driven Thing. What a weird cover, right? Circus, what a great song. And I don't even know why I have this one. It's got a little peak hole through it. This is by The Reds, and I guess it's just called The Reds. And I don't even know why I have this record. I don't even remember listening to this. But for some reason, I must have picked it up and it never left. It's still here. Who knows? Pierre Ubu, and this is their first album, and it took me a long time to find this when it first came out. I found it in Toronto on a little side street. And there it was, blank, 001, I think is the uh, the number on it. Pierre Ubu, one of my weirdest records I have, but I love it. I love it. It's, it's just so out there. And there's a great song where they're smashing bottles and stuff on the floor. And this is uh, Lighthouse. And this is one album I actually kept the shrink wrap on. And I have no idea why, because I never leave the shrimp the shrink wrap on the album. This is Canadian group, Lighthouse. They had a lot of hits. In Canada, I'm not sure about anywhere else. This is their first album, had no hits on it, and it's really not that good an album. There's a lighthouse right here, if you can see it. It's real shiny, it's got the shiny cover. Maybe that's why I left the shrink wrap on. Then this is the Kinks' first album, but, and this is on the Pi label in Canada, mag manufactured in Canada. The Kinks' first album got this when it came out, because You Really Got Me is on it. But there's some odd stuff on this, but it's it's quirky and fun. Kensington Market, another Canadian band. This is they had two albums out, and this is their first album. And uh, good, there's a really good single on this one. I haven't got my glasses on. I would be the I want to. I would be the one. That's it. I would be the one. Great song. And everybody's favorite, the Fugs. And this is album is just right out there. I put this on a party sometime because it's gross. It's a gross out album, really. And uh, it's really a bootleg that the company put out that the band didn't know about. And it's like outtakes from their first album. <laughs> Virgin Fugs. <laughs> folk guys, or hippie folk guys. Well, no, I guess you would call them beatniks, kind of from a New York City kind of thing. And then this uh, came out. This is a European uh, release. This is a double Dave Clark 5. Love the Dave Clark Five singles. Beyond the singles, not much there, but this is a double double album from the Dave Clark Five, which I had to have. <laughs> so that is 13 albums that you probably don't have in your collection, but you may have one or two of them. Or you may have all of them. I doubt it because I don't even know why I have some of those in my collections. Well, really only one, the Reds. I don't know why I have that. So long. Two thumbs up.